Canada Winter is going to try to salvage its reputation this go around. But first, let's look back to December 2023. Don't get too used to that. That was a blowtorch pattern that brought 5 to 10 degree temperature anomalies and a lack of snow all across Canada. Many, many green Christmases. Now we are entering a La Nina state. And if you open a meteorology textbook or do a quick Google search, this is what you would find. Classic La Nina, but there is certainly no promise It'll be classic. We're all eyes on where that temperature anomaly will be. If it's located a little bit further west, that is a central base La Nina, and that could arc our jet stream in this type of a pattern that would slosh all of that cool air further to the west, and there'd be way more fight with that warmth, that southeastern ridge. That would be scenario one. If it is that classic textbook approach, there will be a big bowl of cold air to work with. But we don't expect this pattern to really overwhelm portions of central or eastern Canada. And speaking of that active storm track, that all comes down to that southeast United States ridge. Low pressure systems, mid-latitude storms, they love that temperature contrast. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. There'll be definitely more cold air available this year.